Hello, hello, and welcome to Art Snack. That's the time of day when we take a short break from our hectic work schedule just to talk about art. My name is Jenny Lynn James, and I'm an artist based in Toronto, Canada. And with me today is Makita Beckford, all the way from Jamaica. Hi, Makita. Hi, Jenny <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today. And Thank you for having me. Yes, yes, it's wonderful to get all these guests from Jamaica this week. And so, Makeda, tell us a little bit about how you got started as an artist. What was your journey? Well, I was born into a family of artists. Oh. And um, my parents met at art school. And they're both Jamaican visual artists. Yes. Um, my grandparents were creative as well oh. on both sides. Yeah. Um, both my maternal grandparents dabbled in painting. Yes. Um, and on my father's side, his mother was very creative as well. She was an artist, basically. Okay, so it's in the DNA, I guess. <laughs> yes. So um, I grew up around them and was raised by them and always had, you know, an artistic environment. And then after high school, I decided to enroll in the Edna Manning School of the Visual and Performing Arts. Okay. Um, where I studied graphic design. Oh, right. And I later on, you know, got reintroduced to my love for painting, which is kind of like my basic foundation as a child. You know? Yes, yes. And so what subject matter do you like to paint? Well... I like to paint anything that has to do with nature or um, figures uh, because I think that's one of the things that fuels my vigor for life, you know, just yes. being in nature and observing um, the works of the creator because he's amazing in his designs and, yes, you know, definitely. sometimes those are the greatest inspirations. Yeah. So I paint a lot of... Um, that kind of thing, but I haven't really spent a lot of time painting so far because I'm a performing artist as well, and so I've spent Ooh. many years touring. So since COVID, I've been able to spend some more time painting and exploring what you know stories I want to explore and so forth. So right now, I'm working on a body of work, and it's called Black Beauty. Yes, and it's really based at highlighting the beauty of the black people, you know what I mean? Beauty yes. in terms of cultural richness and, you know, traditions and things that we may have forgotten as post-colonial people and small island people. Yes, yes. So show us a few samples of your work, please. Okay, so right here. Yes. <laughs> this one that I have here is called Chief. And I'm really just working on it. Let me not try to move the entire evil. So I started um, exploring working on linen as opposed to working on cotton and just, you know, feeling out what oh. it's like in terms of technique and how to adjust based on the different mediums. So I started off using one brand of acrylic and basically needed something with more body, okay. I found, and um, was able to consult some other Jamaican artists who paint on linen and were able to help me, you know, how to solve the issues I was having. So this one is, is entitled Chief. Chief, okay, beautiful. Yeah. And it's, you know, symbolism as well. I love yes. symbolism. I think I'm interested in, as a fan of surrealism, kind of eventually exploring surreal representation of my art and, you know, concepts. Yeah, so let's see another one. I see a very interesting um, young uh, child behind you. Let's see yeah. that painting. It's beautiful. Thank you. So this piece is my Himba girl, and it's a young Himba, a young girl from the Himba tribe, and 
Which country? It's, it's from Namibia. Namibia. Oh. Yeah. So um, I fell in love with this, yes. this photograph. And okay. as you can tell, it's more of a study. It's, you know, there isn't really much more to it than the art of the original photographer. Yes. But I really found it spoke volumes just you know her expression and her confidence yes and yes beautiful it, it was a piece that I started at a point in time where I was actually on tour and I was in Amsterdam and I passed a guy and he paid me a compliment and you know coming from a small island where I'm not really recognized as a black woman <laughs> oh. who I am but it's just how it is you know what I mean and then in another country you're not Caucasian, so you're mixed, you're black, you know what I mean? So um, this was just the beginning of that concept and the first painting that I did in that series. So, yes, beautiful um, work and lots of detail at the jewel. Yes, yeah, lots of detail and symbolism as well, because what I loved about this tribe is that their hairstyles and hair is something that I think we need to speak more about and represent more in our work even because I mean there's a whole generation of black women who are learning to embrace themselves and it's something that has played such a rich history in our culture because even for instance her hair represents her status in her tribe you know whether yes, she there is, is a story behind the history she's single or you know a teenager yes. or pre you know okay so that's that Beautiful. piece, and it's called The Beauty of Innocence. Thank you. The Beauty of Innocence. Lovely. And let's see, um, there's another one next to it. This one here? Yes. Oh, it's a big one. <laughs> yeah. Lovely. So this one... I don't think I can get in the shop with it. No, that's okay. That's okay. It's called When Truth and Freedom Intertwine. And it's another series that I was um, burning to get into. Okay. <laughs> because um, the inspiration came to me while I was working on the Black Beauty line, which I'm still doing. Yes. Um, series, I should say. And so I did this painting as my first expression from that, you know, it's, has a lot to do with lighting and the importance of how lighting can set a mood and set a, a tell a story in and of yes. itself. You know? Right, right. So that's that. And a lot of this inspiration comes from like romanticism where there's a lot of, you know, that light. Okay, beautiful. Thank you. So how can viewers get to see more of your work? Well, uh, right now I've been, apart from my music page, which I occasionally post art on. Yes. I have an art page set up on Instagram. It's called Mac in the Mid. Mac and it's a piece of like for the arts, M-A-K in the M-I-D. Oh, and the mid. Makeda, M A K E I D A, Beckford Art. Okay, wonderful. So I'll put that information here in the video. Do you have any shows coming up or anything you want to tell um, people? I do. I will have this um, series of work as a show, um, Black Beauty, you know, celebrating Black beauty and Black culture. But I haven't set a date as yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we'll it's look out, we'll put that um, when you have it on Facebook and Instagram. Hopefully, you sure. will go and see that information. Sure. Well, thank you so much, Makita Beckford, for thank joining you so us. Much. Wonderful. And I hope the viewers visit um, your Instagram and Facebook pages. And people can also see more of my artwork at jennylynjames.pixels.com. And on Instagram and Facebook at Art by Jenny Lynn James. That's Art by Jenny Lynn James. Thank you so much again, Makeda. Thank you so much for having me. All we right, that's all for today. Bye bye. All right, bye. Remember to hit that subscribe button for daily and consistent content. Hope to see you every day.
hit the subscribe button.